You're listening to the Engineering Edge Expansion Pack. I'm Professor Lucy Rogers, and this is the Expansion Pack for our Sixth Sense episode. If you've not heard this already, get downloading. Head to designspark.com forward slash podcasts. I'm going to try and make my own version of the Navibelt. So I have got a Adafruit Circuit Playground Classic, um, and it's, well, it's quite big. It fits in the palm of my hand. It's a circular uh, little circuit board uh, with a whole load of LEDs and some buttons and some uh, bits where you can clamp crocodile clips onto. So I've got one of those. I've also got the Adafruit accelerometer and compass module, uh, the LSM303. So I'm going to attach that to the Circuit Playground Classic. When I've got that working, I'm then going to attach a shaftless vibration motor. So this is one of those little motors and it's tiny, tiny, tiny. It just about covers the uh, fingernail on my little finger. So it's that side of size. Um, looks like a little disc with a couple of wires hanging out from it. So I'm gonna attach that uh, a bit later on with the haptic motor controller, again from Adafruit. So that's the DRV2605L. So they're my bits. Um, I've also got a switch, uh, some cables, some wires, and a LiPo battery. And I'm gonna attach that all to a cap. So when I put the cap on and I face north, I want the whole system to light up where north is. When I'm facing north, I want it to go bing bong, and I want the vibrator to actually go zzz, so that I should be able to walk north in a straight line. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to plug the circuit playground into uh, my computer, which has got the Arduino IDE running on it. So plug it in. And so now it's just powering up. Ooh, all the lights, uh, there's five near pixels all the way around the disc and they're all flashing in rainbow colors. I wonder what happens if I push a button. Ooh. I have no idea what's going on. I just am enjoying the, the sounds. I've now got a silly grin on my face. Okay, so I wasn't doing that. Um, I am going to open up my computer and the Arduino app. Now I've already preloaded all the libraries for the circuit board into my Arduino app. So in theory, I should be able to go to file examples, scroll down to find the yep Adafruit circuit playground and Let's click on the demo. It's done uploading. Okay, so I'm now talking to that. I can stop that. There we go, shut that up. Right now I am going to try and connect the accelerometer and compass. So let me get that out, out of its bag. Uh, this one's tiny. It's, it's bigger than the vibration motor, but it it's about as big as a penny, maybe? It covers my thumbnail. Oh, it's got X, Y, and Z labeled on it. Ground, three volts, SCL, SDA. Okay, so I've got one of those. Okay, I've got to start by hot gluing the uh, compass module to the back of the circuit playground so that the boards are back to back and make sure to position it in the center of the playground classic with the X axis running between the USB and power connections. Okay, hot glue gun. I hate this thing. Out of all my tools, this is the one that bites me, no matter how careful I am with it. And let the other bit cool down. Okay, once the glue cools, you can wire the breakout. Okay, I need some wires. Ground to ground, three volts to three volts, huh. SCL to SCL and SDA to SDA. I can cope with that. Let's uh, strip it. I've got some lovely wire strippers. I do love these things. Oh, soldering iron 
on. I'll let that heat up. And that one there's ground, so it needs to be that long. And trim. That's my black wire stripped and cut to length. I think I'm going to do them one at a time into the compass module first. Hold that down with a piece of blue tack. Soldering iron. Clean the nib up. And solder that one. Solder on there. <coughs> Try not to breathe the fumes, Lucy. That's that one done. And through to the ground there. And that's the ground done. And now to do exactly the same with the other three. I've now got all the wires connected, so let's see. Install the libraries. Yeah, I've done all that. Install the board support package. And that is all done. So open up that serial monitor. And so I've got all the green lights on the circuit playground. It's calibrating. So now I need to just spin it round. Okay, and now as I spin the board, hey, and as I spin the board round, hey, the, the red light on the circuit board always points north. How cunning is that? Now I want to be able to make it go bing bong. So let me just try to upload that. Uploading. Hey. Okay, so I'm telling it to play that tone and wait that long. So if I change the tone. Yep. Hey. So now I've got two different noises. Right, now to put that into the other bit of code in the right place. Here goes. Yeah, that'll do. Hey! So I'm twisting the, the board, and as the light passes over the near pixel that I've labeled north, <laughs> it makes a bing bong noise. Okay, so that's that bit working. Now to add the little motor. Yeah, okay, you can shut up now. No, really. Stop it! Shh! So although I probably could put the little motor straight onto the board, I'm actually going to use a um, haptic driver, DRV2605L, um, and that will give me actually more control so I can get the buzzer not only to go zzz, I can, you yeah, know, get it go zzz, zzz or or something. Well, that was quite simple. All I needed to do was connect the motor to the board and then exactly what I did with the last one, just I can just jay chain. So SEL to SEL, SDA to SDA, ground and 3.3 volts and using some heat shrink over the motor, just over, over the motor wires, because they, they looked a little bit skinny. So I've just put some heat shrink over that. Now to program it. I've now programmed it. And when the near pixel that I nominate is north, not only does it go bing bong, but the little motor goes zzz as well. Isn't that cool? Now, I must admit the coding was a little bit beyond me um, at times there. So thank you very much to Andy Stamford Clark for coming to my rescue and pointing me in the right direction. Oh, this is so cool. Right, so now I'm going to hot melt glue it onto a cap. I've got a baseball cap and then I need uh, to connect it to the battery and I want to switch on it because I don't want it on all the time. <laughs> really, no, I don't want it on all the time. So the battery, oh, what am I going to do with it? I'm holding it all together on the cap. I know, I'm going to 3D print a little case for the battery so that I can glue that in, because I don't want to glue straight onto a LiPo battery. That's probably not sensible. 
I found a lovely 3D printed STL file on the internet for the battery. So I've now got that charged and connected. Hot melt glue the switch in place. Let's try it. Switch it on. <laughs> Put it on. Oh, it's fantastic. I don't know if you can hear it now, but oh, <laughs> I can feel it through my head. So I've got the little vibrating motor right on my forehead. <laughs> So when I face north, yep. Oh, this is great. I have to go out and use it now. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this make. For more episodes, makes, and other great content, head to designspark.com forward slash podcasts. If you enjoyed the show, please like, subscribe, and tell a friend.